Hello dears, welcome to fourth video of the Civil 3D. Today we are going to talk about the figure prefix database. In previous video, we talk about the line work and line work code sets. To draw the lines in Civil 3D, we use the line work code sets and to control the appearance of these lines and figures, we use figure prefix database. Figure prefix database is the database where we define that what layer to be used, what style to be used. Either the line is going to be a break line, a lat line or no and what style to be used for the line. So to access the figure prefix database and define all these layer styles from the tool space, we will go to the survey tab. Once we go to survey tab, we have four different options here. Here, the third option is figure prefix database. Once we click on this plus sign, we can see there is a long list of the different database. From all these, there's only one which is in the bold and highlighted letters. This shows that this is the database which is currently used in this drawing. To create a new database, just right click on this heading and go to new. Click new. From this dialog box, we will give name to our database. I'm going to give it the name sample-4. After giving the name, click OK and database is added here. Now, if we want to edit data, this database and add the figures there, we will just right click on anyone, whichever we want to edit and go to manage figure prefix database. Once we click the manage figure prefix database, we will get a figure prefix database manager and we can see right now it's empty. There is no figure because just now we created this one. So I'm going to place this one. I'm going to zoom over here. The figure which we need to create is for this over fence line. So the description we are using here is fence. We are going to edit the same database which we already used in this drawing. So we will just right click manage figure prefix database. Here there are two figures already available which already used in this drawing. To add a new one we are going to check. We are going to click this green plus sign. Once I click over here the new row is added. Now we have to define this row. First of all we have to change the name. So we will just click here. It's a single click. We don't need to double click and we are going to type here this description which is F-E-N-C-E -E, fence. The second column is break line. Either it's going to be a break line or no. Yes, we want to use this as a break line. We will just click this and it's converted to the yes. If you don't want to use this as a break line, we will just click again here and it will go back to no. We are not going to make it at a break line, so we will keep it no. Second lot line, if we want to use this as a parcel segment, we will click here yes because it's a property line, so we will convert this area into a parcel. So we have checked here and the option no is converted to the yes. Second thing, we have to use the layer. Right now it's in the zero layer. I will click here. To change the layer. When I click over here I saw my layers appear and disappear. If you are facing this problem just drag this window at top of your screen and now if I'm going to click here I can see all my stable list of the layers. To choose a layer fence I will drag this down. I have created this layer side dash fence. I'm going to select this one. Layer is selected. Second column is style. Right now it is standard. We are going to change this one. We will click this drop down. From here we will use this fence. Next is site. So far it is a survey site. We are not going to choose any other site. If you want to choose just click here and you will see if you have it created any other sites. We will discuss about the sites when we talk about the feature lines. So our figure is created. I am going to click OK. The next one which we have to create is this one, farm. Again, 
we will right click manage figure prefix database again we will click the screen plus sign new row is added we are going to rename it farm second column break line we are no we don't want to create this as a break line we don't want to convert to the lot line so we will stay with the default no layer we are going to change again we will drag this at the top we'll click over here and we are going to a specific layer farms which we have created already here there is a layer side dash farm boundary we will select style yes we need to change we'll click this drop down we will choose this farm boundary okay okay next what we have here is one is spt and here we have one figure with code wt we'll create this two more right click manage figure prefix database we'll just click this green plus sign row is added i'm going to change the name as a wt break line no lot line no layer we are going to change water tank style no for this we are going to use basic style so we just change the st uh, standard to the basic again i will click over here to add a new row so i'll click over i'm going to use spt for septic tank break line we don't need lot line we don't need layer yes we need to change i'll click over here we'll choose our layer which is spt tank style now it's standard we need to use the basic so we'll select basic here all our figures are created we will just click ok but once we click ok we didn't find any changes in the drawing because we just created the figure we haven't yet applied these changes in our drawing to apply these changes we will expand our survey database from our survey database we'll click on our local survey database right click and open for edit here is the data which we have imported so again we are going to right click and we will choose process line work once we click here we will get this dialog box here current figure prefix database which is sample yes the one we did here here the current figure prefix database now it's displaying as a sample the same one which we edited here if we choose any one from here it's not going to work because there are no figures added so we will choose the one which we edited sample line work code sets we'll use default sample and we will just click okay once we click okay line work started and we can see within the seconds all the figure styles is changed if I zoom this fence, we can see that there's a very unique style. There is some square which displaying the footings, and there's a straight line representing the fence. If we go to the farm boundary, we can see here some wooden post with a straight line with a specific color and specific layer. So is here for our septic tank and for our water tank. So this is the way how we can use the figure prefix database to control the appearance of the line work in our drawing. In next video, we will see that if we have any problem in the figures, how we can edit our figures. So, till the next video, goodbye, see you.